farmhands. How is everybody today? Well, today's episode, we are going to do a little bit of a Zola garden. We're gonna head into the city right now. A buddy of mine uh, just fragged me up a whole bunch of uh, some high-end Zoas. So that is our plan. Um, the Zoas that we're gonna pick up today are gonna be red candy apple, uh, orange, sorry, original paint crackins, um, big R space chaos, coal eyes, GB fireball, and sticker shock. These ones are very nice, bright. They're gonna throw up really nice colors in the hall. So that is our plan today. I'm gonna to show you uh, what product we're gonna to use to glue all these frags onto the rock. It works awesome. So that is our plan. So there's the Hulk, it's still early morning. He's just starting to wake up. His green light is on over the top, but fish are out and about a bit. You guys can see them all uh, schooling around together. So the plan is we're gonna build a new little Zora garden right here with the ones that we're gonna get. And uh, we're gonna do some documentation, feed them coral food, see how fast they grow and all that stuff. So that is the plan. Um, over here, we're going to use some of the Polyp Lab uh, glue. This is the premium glue. This stuff works really awesome. So that is the plan that we're going to be uh, working on that. So yeah, everybody's waking up. Long's a sea urchin here, spine. He only comes out when it's dark, so he's doing his thing. But yeah, great addition to have in your tank. So we are going to head into the city and uh, go get those corals, and we're going to come back. We're going to use the coral glue, and then we're going to get out of here. Hey everybody, so I got uh, the freight pack here. We got them all lined up. We got seven different kinds. I got the two pieces of rock that I want to do the uh, Zoa Islands on. It's so much easier this way when you put them all on rock because I don't want them getting onto the, like the main rock display where all the acros, SPS corals are so they don't mix in. So today we are going to glue all of them onto the rock. We're going to use a uh, Polyp Labs uh, Premium uh, Coral Glue. This stuff works awesome. And these little applicators here, I'll show you inside. So you got all these individual uh, applicators. This stuff works really well. You can use it underwater, it keeps its pressure, so it works even better. But I like just using some rock I have right now that's dry, it works even better that way. So all the, one of the, some of the corals we got today. So this is the pink uh, Krakus. Uh, we got some WW Purple Monster belly dons. We got some Sticker Shock, Koala Eyes, uh, GB Fireball, Bigger R Space uh, Chaos, and Candy Apple Red. So this is what we're gonna do today, guys. Um, I got the coral dip. You always make sure dip all your corals. We don't want any pests get in your tank. Coral RLX seems to be pretty good. Always worked well for me. So that's the plan. I got some uh, pliers here so we can snap the plugs off so we can just glue the discs onto the rock. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we got the Zoas that are all dipped in the Coral RX right now. Make sure you always dip your corals. It doesn't matter from what system, you don't want to take the chances. You don't want to have any pests getting in there, any flatworms or anything that's going to, you know, take over your tank. So I got these two pieces of uh, dead rock here that I'm going to place into the tank so we can have a Zoa Islands. So everything right now is uh, all ready to go. So this is the glue I've always been using. This is uh, the Pulp Lab uh, Premium uh, Glue. This stuff works pretty awesome. And what it is, it comes in, everyone has a little applicator. And all you have to do is you just pull it off. It's like any other kind of glue. And you just pierce the end of it right here on the end. You just pierce that. And then you just screw the applicator on. So the pressure in this little thing is it always stays consistent and you can use it underwater. I use it underwater all the time. Like if I get different acros and stuff, I can glue it right on the rock. But what I like about this, because I'm just making the islands, we're gonna do it out of the tank and put the corals right on here. And then we just take these, put them in the tank and take them out because uh, like I said, I don't want these rocks to be anywhere near like my main display areas because I don't want them, you know, growing like weeds all over everything and, and taking over the tank. So this way they're on their own independent islands and they look pretty cool. So I got seven different kinds here. 
And so they're on the frag plugs. I usually, I like to break off this part of the frag plug because you never know if there's any eggs or anything on pests, some stuff that doesn't hatch for like two weeks and the Coral X is not gonna get to it. So what I usually do is I just use a pair of pliers and I just crack it off. You can use a bandsaw or anything you wanna do there. So see how it just pops that right off easily. So now we can just take this one here, figure out which way you want this to sit in the tank and we're just directly gonna glue this right on. So you just take your applicator Put a little bit on uh, the bottom of this frag. And so is, they can stay in the water for a bit, you know, because they slime over. So we're gonna glue this one right here. And just, just hold it for a couple of seconds until it's, uh, it's glued itself on. So we're just gonna let that set, let that one glue. Then we are gonna grab another one here. Let's grab a bigger one. Same thing. And with Zoas too, you gotta be very careful. They have a toxin in them. So yeah, you should be wearing gloves and glasses. So that one broke off again. So let's put a little glue. This looks like a nice area to put a nice gob. So I'm putting some on the rock first because it's a little bit of a hollow area. And I want to sit this in my tank like this, make sure position so you know I'd like to take pictures of corals that it's in the area it can be. So let's let that one go. Let's move on to another one. So I got seven. We can put three in a little bit. Break this one off. Very easy to break. We got some really nice colors on these guys. I can't wait for them. So we can watch these as I feed because I feed a lot of reefroids to my tank for all their coral food. And we can document and see how fast these grow and new. But see, these are higher end corals. And with the higher end corals, they usually they grow a lot slower. But we'll see. But with these zoas, at least inside the hulk, it's gonna give it some color. Cause all the sticks and everything, they take so long to grow. This way we can get some nice uh, colors in there. My other zoa gardens are doing pretty well. I haven't showed you guys those ones in a while. So let's keep going here. And this Pulp Lab uh, Premium Glue, it works awesome. So I'll bring you guys in close, you guys can see the application of adding the coral to the rock. Okay, so we got four done up here, just bringing you guys nice and close to here so you can see the fray plugs are put on. We snapped them off. This is the, the Pulp Lab Premium Glue. If you guys ever wanna get some of that, it's in the description below. Pick some up, it's really good stuff. So let's move on to another one. So you're just gonna take your frag plug here, just crack it. See that, it just pops right off. So now we're gonna pick, so if this is in my tank, I'm looking at it. Let's put one right here. So I'm gonna put a little application right here on that one. And then, gonna glue a bunch onto the bottom here. See how easy that comes out? Get a nice little dab, be generous, there we go. Same thing, face it so it'll be pointing at the camera, like that, let that one dry. This one here, we got a nice polyp on there, same thing. Let's crack it off. So we got three on that one. We're gonna get three on this one. Might have to open another thing of glue. I like being generous because I don't like them falling off. And then you gotta climb back in the tank and get everything all done up again. This one's not sitting as good as I thought I wanted it. I'll put open some more glue. Let's pull it off. Don't be shy with your glue because you don't want to cut all these corals coming off. So let's just pop that. Whoop, she jumped on me. Get her back on. So we got lots of glue on the rock now. Let's put a little bit more on the bottom of this one. All right, let's try this again. I like this spider here because definitely be able to take some nice sock. Coral pictures. 
And don't glue your fingers to the rock. Damn. There we go. We'll just put a little bit more just on the edge. There, we got one more to go. This one here's got a couple of polyps on it. I can't wait to get these under the blues and see what they look like. Get them into the tank. So let's put the next one on. Right here. Just a nice gob there. All right. Place that one here, a bit of an angle. There we go. Well, that was fun, guys. We got that all uh, put together. Everything's glued on the rocks. So now we have to do now, we're just letting this set a couple more minutes. Everything's gonna be solid. We're gonna go place these into the tank. We'll take some pictures and see. It's probably gonna take a little bit for them to open up, but as soon as they open up, I'll get you guys some uh, pictures and some videos of those. So let's go ahead, let's head into the Hulk and let's go put these in. All the right, tank. guys, let's take uh, these rocks. Let's go into the Hulk and let's get them all placed in. So much easier this way, gluing uh, frags to it. Got my ladder all ready. Everybody's looking good. You see some of the other corals are just popping. So we just gotta get this into the main display here. All right, so there is our one Zoa rock. You guys can see them. So they're not even open yet, but you can still see some of the color. And the same with these ones here. As soon as they open up, I'll, uh, I'll add it to the video. But as you can see, but yeah, all the other corals are coming along there. All the acros and stuff. Everyone's doing really well. This is another little island I had. So it's coming along, guys. All right, gang. So the new corals have opened up. I wanted to show you guys. They're looking pretty sweet. Let's head over here to the other one. So they are. See so your shoot with the polyp. Uh, lab lens I have to get up my other camera and really bring out the full potential of these corals and zoom in a lot closer but you guys get the idea so we'll do some updates and see how these babies turn out all right guys so that is our little zoa garden that we're doing today so I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on how all these guys are doing I can't wait for them just to overpopulate those rocks it's gonna be sweet you know when they take over and it's gonna give the Hulk a lot of color and a lot of pop Everything's starting to grow out. The acros are still small. They're really hard to see. I'll do you an update. I don't know if you guys can see them all on there, but they're growing. They got a couple of them have some really nice colors. And all the fish are doing awesome, as you guys can see there. But we got to do an update on how many fish I got in there right now. If you guys can guess, leave that comment below how many there is. All right. So thanks for tuning in this week. It was uh, a little video, a little update for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys could uh, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you could hit that subscribe button, it would even be better. So please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.